is, my name is Bridget and I'm an Arts in Health practitioner. I've been running art sessions with older people and vulnerable adults for about five years. I started the Creative Connections Group about a year and a half ago. When the group started, the GP surgery referred people within our community who they considered had social, economic and physical barriers to community connections, friendship and activity. The group uses art and creativity as a focus, but what also happens is people start to talk to each other, build friendships and a community support network too. Everyone is welcome. We work to a timely theme, making sculptures, printing and painting, and then we put on an exhibition. The exhibition provides focus and motivation and is a chance for the artists to share their work. This is a chance for them to show off, dress up, entertain and host to friends and family, potentially for the first time. And it provides the artists with a purpose, a voice about their feelings and an intellectual opportunity to engage in cultural discussions. This exhibition also helps people build their self-confidence and give them a sense of value. The challenge is with any art exhibition is to find funding for a professional and engaging show. This is a serious project. We want to engage with the public and the community and the success of the show relies on the people attending, enjoying and returning to future exhibitions. Our request today is for funding to ensure our next show is a success. We're no longer funded and rely on donations for the group to continue. We need money to buy storage boxes, new screens, ink for screen printing, paper, frames, and a printer. We can do a lot with very little, but our frames alone cost over £100, and this is buying inexpensive ones from the range. But because there are so many artists that want to display their work, it's a dear do. I'd like to share the stories I have about all of the people in the group and how it's changed their lives. Many of the artists have felt like prisoners in their own homes because there's no access to any affordable mental health care locally for them, but there are so many. Some of the artists from our art group are here today and I know that they'd be happy to talk to anyone who wants to know more. This group saves lives, gives people in your community purpose, a feeling of belonging, and an improved self of, uh, sense of well-being. And if we don't allow groups like this to flourish and continue in our community, we are doomed to leave our vulnerable adults and older people to sit on the sofa, watch TV, and miss out on being and having a positive impact on village life. Now, one of the artists who started with the group when it first started a year and a half ago is Victoria and she really is keen to say something about the group. She's now running the art group, and I'm the tea lady. <laughs> and a good job she does. <laughs> we couldn't manage without our tea and coffee. Yes, I started with the group right at the beginning, or very nearly at the beginning, having had a complete breakdown. I was suicidal, I was in a right state. Desperate, basically, didn't know what to do. I've done arts and crafts all my life, literally including a degree and various other certificates, but I'd forgotten it and left it behind. Then I was, it was suggested to me by the surgery that I go along to this group, and it made the world of difference to me. As you can see, I can now stand up here. A year ago, I couldn't have done this. And basically, I've made good friends, I've got back to my art, and I love it. It's wonderful. And it's such a good thing for me, because it's turned my whole life around and I'm really grateful for what it's done for me. And I know the good friends I've made, and we do stuff at home as well now, and things like that, and it just, from what other people have said, it has done so much for their lives as well. We've got people from in their 30s to their 90s. We've, our oldest lady's 92, bless her heart. And she, she's wonderful. And we've got gentlemen and, uh, as well as ladies. And everybody does their bit, and we have a great time and a good laugh. And it really, really keeps us all going. And it's a good me it's a good reason to get up in the morning. So please, if you want to help us in any way, please do, because we really need that help. As I say, all our funding is from donation or what we can raise from selling our work. So we really need some help. Thank you.